everybody. It is Wednesday, and that means we're doing some cooking here today. Uh, offering up some recipes for the Lenten season, some meatless recipes. I thought it would come up with something a little bit different today. I love stuffed peppers. So we've come up with a recipe which is completely vegan, completely meatless. Uh, as I showed you a little bit earlier, I was sauteing uh, some onions and uh, I put in some long grain rice. Now you can put in farro, you can really use any kind of rice or grain that you want, but I think this is a really good combination. Now into this, I am going to add, this is about one of those small cans of tomato paste. I like to use this because it adds a, a really intense, nice tomato flavor. You know, there's no meat at all in this. So you want a little bit of tartness and texture in there as well. So you're gonna like fully, fully, fully incorporate the uh, tomato sauce into this. And if you need to, you know, thin it out a little bit, just some vegetable broth, a little bit of vegetable broth here and there loosens the whole thing up a little bit. And you can see it's, you know, coming along pretty nicely. So what do you put into this now instead of meat? Oh, I'm gonna start off with a variety of vegetables. This is some chopped kale that's gonna cook down inside of the uh, rice stuffing. This is uh, fresh cut parsley that's gonna cook in, cook down, give it a great taste. Here's your magic ingredient though. This is what really makes the dish fresh mint. Uh, going into the recipe as well. So, you know, add, add to your own taste. Mix it thoroughly. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna tell when you're putting this together that you're gonna need to add a little bit of liquid along the way. Some more vegetable broth going in. And then what you put in are some roasted pine nuts generous with the pine nuts. It gives a really nice texture when it's cooking. And then finally, some golden raisins or currants. This is such a great combination when it's all mixing together. So you're gonna mix all this up very carefully. You are gonna put a lid on it and uh, let it just cook up for, I don't know, about 10 minutes on a medium flame. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to it all and uh, you're good to go with this, ready to go to the stuffing phase, which uh, I've already you know, created some over here already, so I've already got the mixture. This is what it winds up looking like when it's all done. So and I've hollowed out my peppers. You can do this with tomatoes as well. I'm just doing peppers today because they look better in the store. So fill it up almost the entire way. Pat it down a little bit. Then take a little more vegetable broth and just give a little bit in each of the peppers. Now, normally if I was doing this conventionally, you know, with meat, I might put a little grated cheese or something on top, but this is totally vegan, so I'm gonna leave this alone. And then before this goes into the oven, I'm gonna take the vegetable broth and just put it in the bottom of the pan, which helps the peppers cook, steams them up a little bit, and then this is ready to go into the oven, 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. And then when that is done, it looks a little bit like this. That's what these beauties look like when they are done. How beautiful is that? Let me show you. Like, let me take one of the red peppers out of here. Can remove the hat. But here you go. Here, let me put a couple in here. Some beautiful, delicious, completely meatless, so perfect for Lent. Uh, vegan stuffed peppers or tomatoes, your choice. Mix and match. They're a fantastic dish for the Lenten season. If you want to get the recipes, you can just scan that QR code, which is on the screen. Or you can do it the old school way. Go to WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks. We're happy to also send them out automatically 
if you uh, just text the word COOKS to 97999. Easy and super delicious. Enjoy the recipe. Hey, Mike. Well, if you have 